Um, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for using Write Up first off. I hope it's really helping you out. I hope it's transforming the way that you run your practice. Uh, that's the aim for us. Um, if it's not, if you're stuck with anything, don't forget, you can grab us for a live chat. The button for that is in the bottom right hand corner of your right up screen. Right. So kicking off then GDPR and data security. Um, so we're, we're always asked, asked by potential users about potential about patient confidentiality, data security. And um, to understand how we maintain the integrity of our data, it's really worthwhile just recapping on how write up actually works. So it's a cloud based application. and um, it's not very useful terminology uh, if you don't really know what it means, but it basically implies something um, and ethereal and, and, and anything but secure. But in reality, cloud-based software, it's, it's, it's extremely secure and it's actually the preferred software model of pretty much all the major uh, software vendors now. So including Microsoft, so Office 365 is a cloud-based version of Microsoft Office. So things like that, um, all the same the, the same way that they're, they're storing data and that you're using it in the cloud. So in a cloud-based model, the application software, so the stuff you typically have to install on your PC uh, and your data. So in your case, patient records, <clears throat> patient notes, stuff like that. They're all stored on our servers in a secure data center. So they're not actually stored on your computer. Um, when you use WriteUp, you're given your own personal URL, so uh, such as it'll just be like mypractice.writeup.com, uh, along with a username and password that you use to access the, the software. So when you enter your, your own personal URL into your chosen web browser, so Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, whatever one that you choose to use, remember, please do keep it up to date. Old uh, browsers, they, they're not really optimal with, with working with WriteUp. Um, so everything that you see on your screen on that browser when you've logged in, so your application and your data has been sent to your computer over the internet from our servers and they're stored in a secure data center. Uh, so importantly, no data is ever stored on your computer or device. There's nothing to install when you use WriteUp. Uh, so they're the, they're the basic principles of cloud-based software. So now I'll explain what, what we do to just to keep your data safe. Um, we've invested heavily in Microsoft Microsoft's Azure cloud infrastructure, which is trusted by many of the world's leading enterprises and government agencies. So in Microsoft's state of the art data centers, they manage um, over a million servers in 140 countries, supporting 20 million businesses and write up is one of those. Uh, so it's you're in absolutely safe hands with with that and um, with Microsoft Azure. Um, we also use we also um, uh, we use active geo replication in write up. So what this means is it creates four readable secondary databases in both of our EU-based EU data center locations. So in essence, this results in um, eight geographically distrib distributed real-time copies of your data, and that underpins uh, right up. So as well as providing you with the extra peace of mind, this technology also allows you to use these secondary databases for failover. So um, if there is ever a, a data center outage. So basically what it means is, You've got uh, data in one place, data in another place, data in another place. If one of those were to disappear and blow up for some reason unknown to me, uh, your data is replicated in another physical location. So it, it's, it's almost impossible <clears throat> to lose all your data unless somebody hits the, uh, the nuclear button. There, there, there's, there's no way it's, it's going anywhere. So security-wise, um, access to Microsoft's data centers is strictly limited to security cleared personnel. So it's controlled by extensive CCTV monitoring and state-of-the-art access control systems. Um, the security guards are patrolling 24 seven every single day of the year, including Christmas. Uh, Two-factor access controlled by biometric ve uh, verification and a card reader, and then climate control, seismic bracing and uninterruptible power supply in the event of a power uh, failure. They just ensure to keep that, that, that data center running 24 seven and 365 days of the year. And we do actually have um, a video that demonstrates why we invested in Microsoft to protect your data. And you can find that in our help center. If you did want to see that um, after the webinar today, please do grab us for a live chat. We'll be ha more than happy to send that over to you. Um, in the event of an outage, uh, which is incredibly rare, I don't know when we when we last had one uh, in the event of an outage our team assesses we assess the nature of the issue and then we take appropriate action so clients are notified by email that an issue has, has arisen uh, and then we we also let you know that the expected resolution time on that as well um, and you also have the ability to log tickets via our help desk system um, which resides on a, a separate cloud-based uh, infrastructure so you can still contact us um, data is being sent from your browser to our server and it's encrypted using 256-bit encryption. 
So it's encrypted in flight. It just means that the data can only be um, interpreted using a specific key that resides on our server. So you'll know this is working because the address in your browser will begin HTTPS, which a lot of um, websites do begin with. Um, and also you'll see <clears throat> the little lock, the uh, little lock key icon, the little key, um, what's that called? Padlock, the little icon in, up there as well. Again, we've got more information on this in our help desk if you do want to find out more, if you do want to learn more about HTTPS and SSL. Uh, please do to have a look in our our database our database uh, and you'll be able to see that in there so i know a lot of people do want extra peace of mind um write up actually supports two factor authentication we call that 2fa uh, that's what we're referring to when we say 2fa it's the two factor authentication and it just provides an optional added layer of security for your write up account um, as the name suggests, it uses two mechanisms instead of just one to verify your identity, uh, which you, when you log in to use write up. So um, in our case, the two mechanisms are your username and password, like normal, and then the added um, authentication method, which is your mobile phone. So what it means is um, the login, the login process has one extra step after you've entered your username and password. So it involves entering a time based one time password which is a six digit code generated by an authentication app like Google Authenticator or the Microsoft Authenticator on your mobile phone. Um, and it's really, really easy to do. Basically you put your, your username and password in, um, write up will say, please enter the six digit code on your Authenticator app. You go on your phone, you go into your Google Authenticator app and, you, and a code will just be on the screen and you just pop that into your computer to log in. So you need, uh, effectively you need your, your username, your password and your phone to be able to log into your account. It just makes it really, really safe. Um, we also have EU-based data centers. Um, GDPR imposed restrictions on the transfer of uh, personal data outside the EU. So these restrictions are in place just to ensure that the level of protection of individuals afforded by the um, GDPR is not undermined. So to ensure that we comply with GDPR, as your data processor, our data centers are located in the EU. Uh, so they're in Dublin and Amsterdam. So going forward, in view of the, uh, the lack of clarity from the UK government and European Union um, about how Brexit may or may not impact GDPR, um, it's not 100% clear yet. Uh, we've invested in the necessary infrastructure just to allow us to relocate our data centers. Uh, so we just remain compliant in the future. So um, diving a little bit deeper into GDPR then, as your data processor, we are fully prepared and ready and already operating um, under GDPR, but we've also rolled out a series of features to just to help you um, reduce the time and cost involved in meeting your GDPR responsibilities going forwards. Um, a couple of these I'll touch, touch on now, but we'll also uh, dive into write up in a second and I'll, I'll show you exactly where these features are and how you can use them and what they actually mean to you um, as, as a, in your everyday running of your practice. So we provide um, you that we provide each of your clients with a write up ID and we call that a WUID and it just allows you to protect your clients privacy by displaying their, their WUID instead of their name in your diary and documents and notes, emails. Um, and thereby avoiding the need to, tran to transmit uh, patient uh, identifiable information anywhere else. Um, we've also streamlined the capture of, priv of privacy consent, which is Article 13 of GDPR by email or in person. So you can set up a consent form um, in write up, and it just means that you can then um, get your, your GDP GDPR consent signed off nice and quickly, and it will store that in write up for you, and it'll just always be in their record as well. You can also log and manage and fulfill access requests, which is Article 15 of GDPR. Um, for many practices, collating every facet of information that you hold about a client within a 30 day deadline could be very onerous and time consuming. But in write up, you can literally pull this together in a few seconds. And I'll show you how to do that in write up in a second. And also in accordance with Article 17 of the GDPR, uh, clients have the right to be forgotten. Uh, so um, obviously that's subject to professional regulations, but WriteUp provides a secure record deletion mechanism that just allows you to delete a record in its entirety, uh, whilst also maintaining an auditable non-identifiable log that the record has been deleted. Um, so again, I'll show you that, how to delete that client as well in a minute when we go into WriteUp. So, 
our team. So what about our access to your, your records? That, uh, that might be worrying you. That might be on your mind. Um, as well as developing write-up, we at Pathway Software, we work extensively with the NHS, both on and off sites. So this means that our staff have, have access to patient identifiable information on a daily basis. But as part of our pre-existing contracts with the NHS, we are all background checked using um, the Dun & Brad sheet. In addition, they are um, we're all required as part of our employment contract to undertake acceptable use of IT training, acceptable use of mobile devices training and PII training as well. And we're also accredited to have remote access to NHS service in three different trusts from our offices in Chester. It's also worth noting that when we do need to log in to anybody's um, write up account, we need your permission to do so. So we can't just log in um, look at and look at a load of uh, data and then log out again without you knowing. You need to give us expli explicit permission and then in write up right up there's also a security log um which will log who has logged in and when so you can actually go in and check that and see if anybody from write ups logged in we won't have done uh, we always do it with, with your permission if we do ever need to log into your account um we to, to help you out with something for example if something's not working if you're stuck somewhere and you want us to have a go um, and go in and look and see what's going on um we will avoid at all costs to go in into any patient records and um, we would usually set up ourselves as like a dummy client and then work through the issue that way and um, we would rarely uh, have to actually look at a patient record we don't have any access to any patient records unless we log into your account uh, so again we would need your explicit permission to log in and then you would be able to track that on your security log uh, so it's it's pretty pretty safe uh, don't you don't need to worry about that um the last little point I just wanted to, to mention is your account deletion. So if in the event that you choose to unsubscribe from WriteUp, which you are able to do at any point, uh, you pay monthly, so you can unsubscribe at any time, um, your account and your client details will be deleted after a 45 day cooling off period. Um, so what that means is you'll unsubscribe. Um, you can request that we just delete it, uh, but we will not be able to get it back. But after 45 days, it will just be automatically completely removed from our servers. There'll be no way of us getting any of that information back. It will be gone forever. Um, we put that 45 day cooling period off because um, it happens a lot that somebody unsubscribes and then a couple of weeks later, they think, ah, actually, I wish I didn't do that because I had everything set up um, in write up. Um, and they do come back to us. Um, so it's just a, a little buffer for you, just in case you, you change your mind um, after a week or two. Um, we're also registered with the Information Commissioner's Office, um, the ICO. So the ICO is the government office responsible for the enforcement of the Data Protection Act uh, and its successor GDPR. So our registration number is Z2865352. So if you do want to, uh, if you did need that number, please do grab us for a live chat. We'd be able to we'll be happy, more than happy to send that over to you. OK, I'm going to dive into uh, write up just now. Um, and I'm just going to show you a couple of places where uh, these features are, these GDPR features are, so that you can have a look and, and see how easy they are to use. So here we are in write up now. Uh, this is just the diary screen. This is just the screen that you see when you log in. Um, and all the, all the uh, GDPR features are in the main menu. And if you go down into tools, um, you'll see in here, there's quite a few tools in there. Some of them aren't anything to do with GDPR, but a lot of them are. Let's start down here at the data hygiene uh, tool then. Now, what this does is you, um, depending on what field you or speciality you work in, you'll need to keep your client records for a certain number of years. Um, so it may be six years, it may be, it may be 16 years. What you can do here is you can um, put in time since last intervention. So that's the time since you last did anything with that client's record. So let's say uh, 10 years, for example. Um, it will give you a list of all your patient's records, your client's records that haven't been intervened with, and you can just go through and delete those. Um, it just makes that, that process a lot simpler for you to do. Back into the tools uh, then, let's go in here. And let's have a look at that security log. So this is this security log um, will show you anybody who's logged in, anybody who's been deleted and anybody anybody's information that's been exported out. This is particularly useful if you've got more than one user in your account. So you might um, want to keep track on actually um, maybe you've got an administrator and three other clinicians using your account. You might want to know, actually, uh, I want to see if anybody is exporting data, um, which they shouldn't be. 
uh, for example. Um, it's probably not going to happen, but it just keeps a little bit of peace of mind. And it also just shows logins as well. So you can see who's who, what they when they've logged in and who who it was. And you'll see in here um, if it is right up, it will be somebody from right up's name in there with right up next to it. So you'll be able to see who's who's logged in um, and when. And uh, I just wanted to show you that because that just kind of um, it, it reiterates what I was saying earlier, that if um, anybody from write up logs in, you will be able to see it. So, you know, we really do we really do take that seriously. Back into tools, then um, access requests. This is a fantastic, fantastic time saving tool. Um, and it also really, really helps with your peace of mind as well. So a client may um, ask for a, a copy of all the data that you hold on them. And by law, they are um, obviously legally allowed to do this and you have 30 days to, to supply that. Now, if you've got data stored in various places in your computer, in paper files, um, God knows where else, it can be really, really stressful trying to make sure that you have every single scrap of data brought together um, to send to that client. If everything's stored in write-up, which if you're using it probably is, um, it takes seconds and you can get that done. As soon as that, as soon as that request comes in, you can just do it and it's done. You don't even have to, there's no sleepless nights involved with it. You just go to create new access request and the request date, who it's requested by and the name of the client um, in there. And then you click save. What that will do is it will download everything that you've got on that client into a zip file. You can then download that onto your computer and just email it off to them. Delete that off your computer afterwards, obviously. Um, it just makes that so much easier and less stressful for you. Um, okay, back into tools, that's your access requests. And um, the last thing I wanted to show you in here was just the delete client in here. Um, so obviously anybody can ask to be deleted. Um, they are within their rights to do so, and you can then go in and do that. So it's really hard to delete a client by accident um, because you have to go into the main menu, into tools, into delete client, and then you need to click delete. And then another pop-up will come up here to say, are you sure? Um, there is no way to delete a client from their actual record. So if you're in their record, there's, there's no actual way to delete them in here. So you can't do it by accident. Um, it would be very difficult to do so. You need to go into the tools and into delete client and then delete them. Um, just worth remembering that if you do delete a client, we can't get that back for you. Um, we don't keep copies. We don't keep um, you know records of this. Uh, you're in control of your data and what's stored and what you keep and what you don't keep. Um, so it's it's really important just to remember that um, if you do delete somebody, we can't get it back for you. Um, it would be wrong if we could. Uh, so that's just something to bear in mind. A couple of other things in here, um, we've got a data export and import. Um, the data export is probably the one that you would, it, that's most re relevant to this webinar today. Um, you're able to actually export all of your data out of write up at any time. So if you did want to unsubscribe, you, um, you're you not just going to lose everything, obviously, uh, you'll just be able to export that out. You can save that as a file on your computer, and then you can archive that um, as, as long as you need to before you legally have to delete that delete that data. Um, so it's 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 nice and easy to do. It's it's not difficult at all. Okay, so um that is pretty much it. Uh, for your GDPR features and um, eradicating the worry of it. Uh, WriteUp will just tick along nicely um, being GDPR compliant for you. And all you would, you need to do is follow your, your steps as, as um, a data controller uh, to, to um, keep your, your client's data safe. And you can do that in the tools in WriteUp. So you can do that with the hygiene tool, the access request, the deleting client and security log. Um, you can you can do that. It's also worth bearing in mind that you should, um, it, it, it is best practice to for everybody to have a uh, their own login to write up and not to use shared logins. Shared logins are against our terms and conditions anyway, and you would be in breach of those if um, we did notice that you were using shared logins. Um, so it's definitely worth um, 
reviewing that. If you are, uh, everybody does need their own login. It keeps um, you on the right side of GDPR. And it also, in case of a, a breach of data on your end, it, it definitely helps you are able to log, um, you are able to see who's logged in and who's exported any data. Um, otherwise, if you are using a shared login, there is no way to, to um, to narrow that down to anybody in your organization who may have done this. Um, so it's really, really important uh, thing to note that uh, shared logins are against our T's and C's um, for that reason. Um, it's a real breach in data security. So, so do uh, bear that in mind if you are uh, thinking of sharing logins or if you already do share logins, um, uh, please do re review that um, when you can. So if you do have any questions on um, write-ups, um, data security, our GDPR process or our GDPR compliability, please do get in touch with us. Um, you can see that down in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a chat box in here. We are always happy to talk to you. Please do send them, us a message. We're there Monday to Friday, nine to five. Um, and we're, we're always happy to chat to you, um, particularly about important things like data security and GDPR. We take it really, really seriously here. Um, and it's, just, it's something that we should all be mindful of. Um, once you've got all your your things in place it really is um it really will uh, give you a peace of mind that you can just um you know continue to run your practice with with um safely and and within the guidelines we also if you click into this uh into the uh question mark in the top right hand corner of your write-up screen you will see that our help center is here as well we do actually have a data security section um i'll just try and find it because there's so many privacy and data security in there um we have uh lots and lots of articles in here um, really describing how how compliant we are and what we do with your data. Um, the cool thing about this is that if you did want to add any of this information into your consent forms text or into the information that you send to your clients, please do. Um, you are more than welcome to. For example, this one here is, is write-up GDPR compliant. You can go through, you can have a look, um, take any of this text uh, that you want to. Um, if you did want to tell your clients where their data is being stored, um, please do do that. We also have some example texts for GDPR consent forms as well in there um, and access request confirmation letters, stuff like that. So um, you can there's there's a lot of resources in in our write up help center uh, that should help you out with with GDPR and data security as well. Um, so lots in there. The FAQs uh, one is pretty good. Uh, it just gives you like the, the top sort of five articles that we tend to send out to people um, to get started with data security. Um, so that's in there. Just type in FAQs in the search and that will come up. Um, also, again, if you do need um, any more information, please do grab us for a live chat. We'll be more than happy to, to find these articles for you um, and send them over to you. So with that, um, that's the end of our webinar today. It's not a really long one, but I think it's a really important one. Um, and I really hope this does uh, put your mind a little bit at rest on GDPR and data security issues um, that you may be having. Um, please do get in touch with us if you want to chat to us about anything at all. We're more than happy to talk to you about GDPR and data security. Um, and also, if you did want to just get in touch and let us know how you're finding um, keeping on the right side of GDPR using write-up, we always really like testimonials and stuff like that, uh, especially from, you know, um, things that we may not have heard before things we may not have thought about before please please do get in touch and, and let us know it is always always really good to talk to you and we'll we will never be disappointed that you got in touch anyway i hope you have a fantastic day we've got loads loads of more webinars so please do check these out go into the main menu in your write-up screen scroll down and you'll see jo a, a tab that says join one of our webinars you can click in there and you can browse through our webinar diary please do book in um we are we're always more than happy to to, to see you and and hear from you you and chat to you so so please do come uh it is fantastic always always to see you anyway i hope you have a fantastic week a lovely day and we look forward to speaking to you soon bye everyone enjoy your day see you later